there's a quick overview of the multi-site features that are built into WordPress since version 3. As the name suggests, this lets you run a network of sites, turning your single install into a platform. The first thing we have to do is to activate multi-site, and we do this by adding a switch to the WP config file. Once that's done, you'll see an extra option in the tools menu for network setup. This asks for some basic info about your network, which it then uses to generate some further config settings. These come in two parts. The first goes in your WP config file, replacing the previous line. The second is a series of rewrite rules which handle the subsites within your network, and this goes into your HT access file. With those two files saved, you then need to log out of WordPress and log back in with your admin account. You'll now see your usual site dashboard, but you will find some extra functionality that's available to you as a network admin. For example, we have a new site menu. From here we can create and manage the sites in our network. So let's go ahead and add a new site. All this needs is some basic setup info. And now we have two sites running in our network, the original site and our new subsite. If we view the new site, we can see this is a full instance of WordPress and it's running at a URL as a subdirectory of the main site, the WordPress slash new site in this case. And this is a fully functional WordPress site, although the site owners are a little more restricted than they would be if they ran a standalone site of their own. For example, if we look at the plugin areas, owners can activate and deactivate plugins, but can't add new ones. Likewise, in the theme area, owners can only activate themes that are available. So how are themes and plugins made available to the sites? Well, these are now deployed through the network. So if we go back to our network admin view, we can network enable any themes we've added, making them available for use on other sites. So let's go back to our new site, look at the dashboard, and we can see we've now got two themes, and we can activate and configure these within our site. And plugins are managed in the same way. So, now you've seen the setup of a multi-site network and the basic of how it works, follow through the tasks in the workbook to investigate this further, exploring the management of users, site settings, and network settings. Have fun!